All right, what's up, crew? My name is Lamaki. You might know me when I bowled at Newman University in Wichita, Kansas. Uh, I did a lot of juniors growing up as well, but now I'm just finding my way in the adult life. But I'm here to show you guys how I approach my two-handed game. Um, I've gotten coached by multiple different coaches across my career and to be honest you have to take what you like and what fits for you so what I do right now probably isn't best for you but take bits and pieces and apply it to your game and it may work So when I line up, I like to be composed. I like to stand tall. I don't like to slouch over too much. I like to just stand tall, hold my ball about waist high, stomach high. And the first two steps is the most important steps to me. So I'm here, I'm first step, second step. Now from here, I'm about to push away once I bring this leg here. I'm here pushing away and then I'm about to gather up to come like this and then when you're here you have your hand tilted this way and then you're just straight up here and just straight up you're not turning it over you're not bringing it out you're just here and just straight up so from here I can just three step So that eliminated my first two steps. I went from here, here. I just started from here and did three steps. The first two steps, you should take them slow to get you calibrated. If you're running from the jump, that's gonna throw you off by fractions of a second. So you want to be able to compose yourself and hold all your energy until you get to the line. Um, I don't do anything extra with my left hand. That's probably a huge question. My left hand is just for placement. You can honestly have it anywhere on the ball. I see people hold it tight. I like to have my hand right in the front. So it's just going with my throw like that. So it's in line with my shot. Nice and tall and I come out like that. Okay, so as you can see, I have a vacuum gripped bowling ball. Those are beneficial to me because I hold my bowling ball two different ways. I either fingertip it like this, or I go all the way down to the second knuckle when I need less speed, more revs. This is for more speed, less revs in the theory. So I'm usually holding it here about the second knuckle and I'm waist high, waist high. And that's how I hold it. Everybody's different, but this is what feels comfortable to me. My next tip would be your feet. Um, if you come with me onto the lane, I usually stand open. My hips are open. My feet are angled out to the 10 pin. You can also stand square. You're square to the lane. Or if you have a problem um, going straight up the lane, you can put your feet right in front. This is what keeps my hips closed to the lane. So I usually stand open to the lane because I like swinging the ball. If you're more straight up, you can keep your feet even or even in front just by that much. So I'm here and I'm open and I'm about to throw. Bowling is such a fun sport. If you haven't got into the game yet, I suggest it. It's a great way of peace and zen, and once you get the sport down, it's all on you after that. All right, so next, I'm gonna talk about where I aim out on the lane. Um, if you recall Mark Baker, Mark Baker talking, he said that there's a miss room or there's a drift part in your lane or where you walk. So I, don't, I think I drift like two. So where I aim, 
I aim through the arrows out to my break point. I want to guide my bowling ball through the arrow, not to the arrow, but to the break point down lane, because that's my mark down lane. I'm getting my guide through the mark and then out there on the lane. So the arrows are just a guide for your hand to go through out to your break point. Something like that. Drop brooms in the comments if this is helping you guys. All right, Clarou, so my next tip is the push away. So the push away to the backswing. My push away is straight in front of me. You always want your push away going to your break point. You don't want your push away going out. You don't want it going out. You don't want to do too much. You just really want it going straight as an arrow. And then on my back swing, I'm very flat. If you, if you recall like Wesley Lowe or something like that, he's all the way up and I don't have that torque in my body for that. So I am flatter and I am pushing. Wesley Lowe is up here and down. So those are two different ways you can do the higher back swing means less speed, more revs in a theory, and lower back swing means more speed, less revs in theory, by fractions of a second. So I'm gonna try actually bowling like Wesley Lowe with a higher back swing and coming through. That's really hard to do because as a two-hander, your hand can only go back so far. It honestly feels like my hand is coming off the ball slightly when I'm following through and through my backswing. So that's why I like to keep it lower and still in play. I'm not saying it's out of play, but it's out of play for me. I'm gonna try one how I bowl. Your push away is straight in front of you and then your backswing is to your limit. You don't want to go higher than your limit. All right, first step, second step, push away, follow through. Oh, come on. A lot of 10 pins here at the Orleans. So a big question that I have for releasing the bowling ball is how do I come out of the bowling ball? So my tip that I give to most of the questions I get is using a football underhanded. Now, if you can spin a football in a spiral and throw it across the room in a spiral, then you can bowl because that football is acting like the core of the bowling ball. And as long as you can keep the core of the bowling ball tight, then your shots are gonna be more reliable than your misses. So uh, picture a clock, your hand is at six o'clock. 12 o'clock is up here, one o'clock is over here, and you wanna get your hand in between 12 and one. 12 and one. You don't wanna to go too much to 12, you don't wanna to go too much to one. So right in the middle of, the, of between is that, that window of you hitting your ball. Sounds like a little bit, but it's actually a lot. I see a lot of people trying to come all the way around. That just creates too much misses for me. I like to keep mine tight and in the pocket and yeah, it's tight spiral on that football. Uh, I'd like to give a special shout out to 900 Global and them making every bowling ball fits my bag perfectly. And I would like to say I am not sponsored to say this, but this is my true feelings and that 900 Global makes the best bowling balls for me and my bag. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and clean up crew.